Hello and welcome to another episode of BTG News. My name is Barrett Courtney, and here joined with me are my two great co-hosts and even better friends, Henry Montiero hey. and Ricky Baldazan. Hi. How you guys doing today? I'm doing good. I'm tired. I got you're it. tired. You're exhausted. You've been you've been working all weekend. I have been working all weekend. You, you're a stagehand for for stuff, right? Mm-hmm. You call that work? I played Smash for 25 straight minutes <laughs> <laughs> and made this guy be part of it. Um, so yeah, it's 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 been a long week already, yep. but I we still got much more to go. A lot a lot of a lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff is going to happen this week. E3 happened Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We got all of the conferences. Today we're doing BCG news. Today we're gonna we're gonna talk about our reactions, what we felt about it. Your reactions. <laughs> our reactions mainly, because we we got to watch the whole thing. You were working and stuff. Yeah. You you watch some, so you'll you'll be able to put some input into it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then later today we're gonna shave my head. Yes. Not yes. for any sort of donations or anything. I'm just sick of hair. Just, yeah. Yep. Um, and then this Sunday. Here on Twitch.tv slash Beta Zona Gamers, we're doing our very like first like extravaganza of streams. Batman Arkham Extravaganza starting at 12 p.m. Pacific time here on Twitch.tv slash Beta Zona Gamers. We're the Sunday I will be speedrunning through Batman Arkham Asylum. The best way to spend Father's Day. The best way to spend Father's Day. Um and and then I'll have my friends here join me and we'll we'll do some talking shit. Slash BZG news like stuff during that speed run, Slashing and then pizza. and then Monday we will be doing the same thing but with Arkham City, and then Tuesday we will be playing here for you, the first three hours of Batman Arkham Knight. Um, that it's was the first six. No, first three. Because yeah. the thing is, I like to play video games by myself. You know, I just like doing yeah. the alone experience and stuff. And I, I want to do this for the audience. I want to do this to sort of practice streams and stuff. And so I don't want to get too heavy in the story because I don't want to ruin it for Ricky as well. Because Ricky is a, a big fan of the Batman Arkham series. Yes. So. Um, <laughs> all right, we're up and running. It's all good. All it's good. all Gouda. Um, the mustache crew. So, guys, E3. <laughs> oh, that's true. You guys do have mustaches. Have mustaches You're very you observant. Yeah. Um, E3 happened yes, the last couple did. of days. Yeah. Um, and so what we're going to we're, we're gonna do sort of react thing. I'm going to go through. I'm going to read through my notes here, sort of recap what happened at this E3. And then we're going to talk about um, ranking. That We're going to rank the conferences from worst to best. And then we're going to talk about our top five games of the show and our top five worst games of the show. Uh, the best moment of E3 was Aisha Tyler telling Top Hat Jones to create a meme. Obviously. Yeah, exa- exactly. Best part of E3. <laughs> Forcing memes. memes is always great. Um, so I'm going to re- do a recap. These are my notes that, I, that I've written down. I didn't. I got to see like the second half of Bethesda Live. It was like right when they started going into Fallout. And so then I saw. And then I saw. It. Monday, I saw all of that live, and then I didn't get to watch um, Nintendo or Square Enix live. So, but I still took notes for everything. Bethesda, Fallout 4, obviously. Uh, Dishonored 2, Doom. Those are like the main things that we need to talk about. Mm, Dishonor. And then we go into our my Xbox notes. Halo 5, Inafune Partnership. They're making a game called ReCore. Backwards Compatibility. Fallout 4 Mods. EA. They came out and did their EA like access bullshit or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, indies, the the main one being Cuphead. That game looks amazing. Um, Ion, I forget what Ion was, but I wrote it down. I apparently thought it was important. Um, Tomb Raider exclusive for Xbox One for the time being yeah, comes we'll out. Um, <laughs> no, because they don't own it, uh-huh. so they have like a a, a contract, Gosh. a deal with them to like have it be exclusive for a certain amount of time but it doesn't matter because the release date is november 10th the same day fallout 4 is coming out so no one's going to give a shit (laughs) and then we got rare replay which is the the game that comes with the 30 rare games which is really cool it makes they're not very rare are they Uh, um sea of thieves by rare uh fable legends no one cared. That's literally what I put down here. Um, Holy fuck, the future is here is what I referenced uh, for Hololens. Um, Gears what? of War remaster. 
here. Gears 4, worst demo ever. Just going to say it right now. Um, and then we went into EA, Mass Effect, Old Republic stuff. Nothing exciting. Mass Effect? Mass Effect 4. Andromeda main demand. Yeah. Did they show shit for it? No, they showed it. It was like a little bit. I forget what the official name of it is. Uh, Andromeda. We have Unravel, which was that cute game that we both thought was cute. It's the little yarn dude. With the little Swedish man going like, hi. Yeah. Uh, okay. Garden Warfare 2. Then they came out and was like, let's talk about mobile. And everybody fell asleep. Um, uh, uh, Minions game, did you write that down? Uh, yeah, the Minions game, very important. Very um, uh, highlight game of the year edition, 2015. Mi- Mirror's Edge Catalyst, uh, FIFA. They brought Pele on, and then everybody pretended to care who Pele was. And then Pele um, talked for like 20 minutes about, I don't know, like ham and ham, strawberry and ham. <laughs> food. Food Madden 16, too. and then finally to the Why? important thing, which was Battlefront. Uh, Ubisoft, South Park, The Fractured Butthole, uh, For Honor, The, the Division, butthole. Anno 2205, Memes, Just Dance, Memes, Rainbow Six, Trackmania, uh, Trackmania Turbo, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Ghost Recon, Sony, The Last Guardian, Horizon, Hitman, No Man's Sky, mm. Dreams, Firewatch, World of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII, Crossing Souls, Shenmue Three, fucking Arkham, Morpheus, PlayStation View, Black Ops Three, Until Dawn, Dis- Disney Infinity sucks ass, Battlefront, Uncharted Four. There's a lot, of, a lot of meaty stuff in that, in that Sony one. But we'll get to that. A Nintendo, bag of ass. Star Fox Zero, <laughs> Metroid Prime, fuck you. That's literally what the title is. Metroid Prime Football. Um, Mario Paper Jam, which actually looks interesting if I still had a 3DS. I do. Zelda Triforce Heroes, Mario Tennis for the Wii U, and 8-Bit Mario Amiibo. Um, Square, the only thing I had to write down was Kingdom Hearts 3, now in development. Development. Also, so, guy wearing so, a creepy ass mask. Guy wearing a very creepy mask. Um, so Henry, we watched the, the most of Monday together yes what were what were some of the highlight the biggest things before we go into the ranking of the best conferences the best games what were just the craziest things about each Shenmue this? fucking three Shenmue three you lost your shit I uh, did during Shenmue um why is that game really important to you at least because that the last time that game came out was like 13 years ago Okay. It's right. been 13 years in development. It was a cliffhanger. They're finally releasing a new one. Finally, I can look for Sailors in HD. And a lot of people are talking shit. Not our show talking shit, but they're talking shit about how, oh, look at PlayStation promoting a uh, um, a Kickstarter. Because that's how they're doing Shenmue. They're doing the whole Kickstarter thing. But it's not that, like, people are like, why doesn't Sony just fund Shenmue? But it's not a question of that. It's sort of. It's probably a thing where they have to prove to PlayStation that there's an audience, that there's a market, that there are people who want to buy this. Yeah. So they had to like figure out a goal of like what would prove that, and then once they hit that, then PlayStation will probably come in and, and it reached a million dollars in three hours. Yeah, and then it reached two million in uh, two days. Right? It's crazy. That is the fastest making Kickstarter in history. Um, faster than even the Reading Rainbow reboot. <laughs> that was a thing? Yeah. What? Yeah, LeVar Burton was like, hey, we, we have a Kickstarter for rebooting Reading Rainbow, and it reached a million in, the, in a day. What? Yeah. You liar. I don't lie. You lie. No, I don't. You lie. All right. Anyway, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything else besides Shenmue 3 that was like an obvious highlight? Well, there was No Man's Sky, no Man's which Sky. I actually hadn't heard about before this. I did watch that one, and I thought it was fucking amazing. Okay. Like, they went to, like, the E3 planet. <laughs> Officially, you know, E3. You know what would be amazing, though? Imagine you're playing that game. You go to Earth. It's all of Earth. You go into your own house. You're right behind you playing the game. You turn <laughs> around. It's Sony. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Obviously, Fallout 4 is a big thing this year. Everyone was talking about it. I think it's sort of dumb that Tomb Raider is not backing down from their November 10th release. 
that game, it, and it doesn't matter that it's an Xbox exclusive, that game is going to fucking tank. Tank. Because of Fallout 4. No one's get, People are going to buy Fallout 4, and no one's going to play anything else for months. Maybe yeah. Battlefront. Most likely Battlefront. Yeah. Um, See, besides Arkham was that, smart, because they're doing it, like, three months ahead. Yeah. So by then... And, then, and that's... In a, they might be doing that on purpose, too. Um... Because the the Arkham games are usually like a more of a fall release, yeah. And so it was interesting that they decided to do a summer release. Because um, Fallout Four is like that game is going to take months to like um, get anywhere in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because there's so much they've added in this. Yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, so let's get into it. At least Henry and I are going to get into it because Ricky sleeping. Ricky hasn't watched shit, I was even though here. I told him to. I was sleeping. Yeah, I know. I know. You've been working. It's okay. It's I've okay. been working so much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, You're fuck so off. <laughs> <laughs> Come watch us every Wednesday at 12.15 to watch us pet Ricky's head. Video games? Uh, okay, but have, have you considered other video game? Other video game? No. Uh, lots of cops. Shenmue. Have you considered Spice Rack? Shen. <laughs> have you considered Rack? No. Have you considered spicy rat? <laughs> okay, okay. So let's get into ranking from the worst conference to the best conference. Henry. Memes. Memes? Okay, <laughs> what was... Work your way up from what you thought the worst conference was to the best conference. We all know it's Nintendo. Okay, so you think Nintendo was the worst conference. Yes. And why is that? Because they completely fucked it up. Okay. They announced, like, no, nothing of interest except for, like, Paper Mark. Like Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. Okay. Which I'm going to call Paper Mario and Luigi. Okay. They announced that. And then Star, Star Fox. Fox Zero, which looks ugly as fuck. Just and saying. We all know it was happening. Yeah. Metroid Prime Football. That's <laughs> such a disappointment. Wait, is it actually... What? Yeah. It's, no, yeah, because it's, it's a 3D. it's a 3DS only game. And it's like all about like... You play co-op with other And people. it's like forced co-op. You're, Samus isn't in it. And it's the dumbest thing. It's like the biggest fuck you to Metroid fans. More than Metroid Other M. They did talk about the next true Metroid Prime most likely being released on NX, though. I know. See, you would have known this if you watched the E3 conferences. Um, it, it's, it's become clear at this point that Nintendo does not like Metroid. Exactly. I but think uh, the our, our one viewer right now... Uh, Kaiser, Kaiser Sose too. Um, Mario Maker, they have a good point. Oh, right. Uh, Mario Maker does look really, really awesome. I did really I do. That. I'm planning on playing that shit. Mario Maker time. looks awesome. So, Nintendo's at your bottom. What is your next next up from Nintendo? Well, let's see. I'm going to put the ones that I didn't watch at okay. the bottom. Okay. So you, But you did watch Nintendo, though? Yes. Okay. But based on what I've heard about what was announced... Okay. It's gonna. I'm gonna go Square Enix. So you're gonna go Square next, okay? Square Enix. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, probably Bethesda, Microsoft, because just because I didn't watch them, so I you can't really say them. anything about them. But I okay. heard they were really great conferences. Okay. And then, uh, the ones I did watch. Okay. On Wednesday. <clears throat> yeah. No Monday. Monday. Today is Wednesday. Your Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday Adams. And so out of that, we got... It sounds like the right thing to do now. Um, I don't know what there's yelling no about. Bethesda, number one. It, Henry just didn't... He, was, he wasn't he was able to watch it. Yeah, I thought if it makes them feel better, Bethesda was the only one I watched, and I thought it was great. Okay. <laughs> so, just okay so, so out of the ones you did I love watch, Bethesda, though. Out of so. the Monday conferences, what, what from worst to best? Uh, I'm going to have to say Ubisoft was the worst. Ubisoft? Okay, wow. All right. Because get your meme bullshit out of my life. Okay. And I that just tanked the entire thing. Okay. And then after that, it would be EA. Okay. Because I want to listen to Pele talk for 10, 20 minutes. Okay. About 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 strawberry and ham. Okay. <laughs> and then the best was Sony because goddamn was that front was that loaded. Okay. And and then you had the Uncharted glitch, which was the greatest thing. The Uncharted glitch. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, apparently the controller died. That's what happened. That's even better. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is oh, my, my ranking. Is... I was able to watch everything. 
Um, Still, not as great as Trackmania Turbo, just driving straight into, into the a side. fucking thing. That was, that, yeah. Um, we made Kaiser Soze feel better, just letting you know. Okay, you did cool. that. You okay, did that, cool. Ricky. I mean, uh, I, all of these comments. I go to are Kaiser just... when I feel bad. So, I mean, thank <laughs> Kaiser you. Kaiser Permanente. Thank you, Kaiser. No, fuck you, Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> I want my like twenty bucks back when you for, send me to different for your doctors one thing. for my like one eye thing where they sent me to three doctors and then someone was like, "Oh yeah, no, that'll go away in like another like five months." He looked at it for a second. <laughs> they were about to cut it out. They were about to perform surgery on me. God damn it! And then he actually walked in and saw it for the first time. He's like, "Oh no, you're fine." Mm. I paid forty bucks for but that. Thank shit. you, Kaiser. But thank you, Kaiser Soze, for being in such a great film. Um, so fr- uh, ranking from the, from the worst to the best for me goes Square Enix, and for one reason only: Kingdom Hearts Three, now in development. <laughs> Was it not in development before? Like, what the fuck? At least give us a fucking release window, or just don't show us anything at all. We knew Kingdom Hearts 3 was a fucking thing. All you did was show us more stuff we had already seen, and just confirm that you're working on it. Go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves, Square Enix. I called it. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3, one question. Will we be able to go into the Marvel Universe and Star Wars? Uh, We're not there yet, Henry. Calm down. Calm your wait, calm your titties. Wait, can I like go off topic for like two seconds? Yeah, what's up? Um, so I read that even though I don't care for it and I'm not gonna buy it, I still think it's bullshit that they don't include it. Um, that whole like Lego Dimensions game saying that Star Wars Lego will never be a part of it. Because they probably just can't get the rights. Oh right, that's true. It's still stupid. It's okay. It's okay. So that that was gonna be a terrible game to begin with. So I know, but um, Lego Star and so Wars. from Square Enix, Square Enix to EA. EA had a terrible fucking conference. Pacing was off. The minute they mentioned mobile, it was like, this this show is done. And then uh, Mirror's Edge was okay. I don't know, I'm not, like, huge, like, excited, yeah. uh, crazy about that. I'm saying. Mass Effect, they didn't show much. All they did was confirm that it's a thing. That I was excited for. Um... And then, like, they did the whole, like, Garden Warfare 2 where the guy came out, the guy in the big costume, and then, like, no, you need to leave stage and stuff. Like, it's really dumb. And then uh, then sports for so long, which I know is EA's bread and butter, but, like... Anyway. But why yeah. it, why are you making bread and butter so bad? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then and then they hey, finally got to Battlefront. They salv- they salvaged themselves with Battlefront. I'm a little confident, but in that game. But besides that, there's nothing else. Battlefront looks so good. So from EA, I go to the Nintendo. Nintendo sort of has uh, an upper hand because of <laughs> Mario Paper Jam, Paper Mario Jam, whatever. <laughs> Mario Paper um, Jam. And then. Um, Metroid Prime Football, Mario Maker, the Mario Tennis, which I'll probably get Wii. U. Mario Tennis. Yeah, Mario Tennis for Wii U. It's gonna be dope. Cool. Um, you remember that Mario soccer game? Yeah, it was dope. Mario, Mario Strikers Charged. Yeah. Um, uh, Fluffy hates that game. Mario well, Strikers Charged. Well, Fluffy ain't shit. So it had a bitch. couple more games, and I've always, <laughs> if I, I said, if I ever will buy an amiibo, it'll be of an eight bit Mario, and they finally announced that, and I think that's really cool. So I might actually get amiibo, but I'll never use it. Just to have it. Then. Just to have it. I'll just have it hanging up next to my uh, collection of Harry Potter shit. I'm still trying and to Yoda. Cause, 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 and Christmas Yoda. Because because when I think Harry Potter and Christmas Yoda, I think 8-Bit Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just where I keep all of my knickknacks. Um, and then from... And then Nintendo, obviously, they had a lot of problems. They talked. They didn't talk about anything about Zelda. They did confirm that it's staying on Wii U, though. Um, Zelda Heroes or Triforce Heroes or whatever. And yeah. um, I just remembered I have access to the uh, Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check the chat on your phone. There we go. So we're not constantly staring at the screen. Sorry, oh, wait, I that. deleted it. Damn it. Download Redownload it, Henry. Um, Fine. I'll be your connection. So um, uh-huh. if, you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, because I plan on exporting this over to, to YouTube, um, I was going to do that for our prediction show, but that got split up into weird clips, and then we lost yeah. a bunch of the stuff. So that unfortunately never happened. But... Uh, at least you get to watch our reaction. Um, Nintendo, yeah, like the, they had a lot of problems with uh, with Zelda not being shown, like whatsoever. 
Um, Star Fox Zero looks ugly as shit. It looks like a GameCube N64 game. Like, uh-huh. those graphics did not look good uh-huh. whatsoever. Um, Maybe it's an early version. An early version for a game that's coming yeah. for, like, uh, winter 2015? Well, yeah. Well, well <laughs> I mean, even though it wasn't that bad... Um, the Fallout 4 release thing like didn't look that well, but then on their press conference, it looked amazing. Have so you seen Star like, Fox Zero? You need to see no, it. Is it, it looks, really that, it's that really that bad? bad. I didn't give a shit about Fallout 4. Like, the for Fallout 4, the difference is like the world looks really beautiful. Like, the dog doesn't look as good, the guy you play as doesn't look as good, but the world itself like, actually no looks like be, no one plays Fallout in third person mode anyway, so I did. I do. Why? Because Skyrim. Yeah. Unless I was Archer. Um. Stuff, so. So yeah, Nintendo. And I didn't give a shit about the Skylanders amiibo bullshit. Well, yeah. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Um. No one cares. Star Fox is an N sixty four game. I know it is. Um. So from Nintendo, it's actually just Star Fox two. That they were originally going to release. I, I gave it to, to Ubisoft. Really? God damn. You're going to torture the people who are listening know. to this. Um, they're already being tortured by watching this shitty uh, fucking uh, video. Um, Ubisoft is... I was surprised that you had Ubisoft as, as the lower one. Because even though they had the forced shit that Aisha Tyler probably didn't even want to do. With the whole like, do a meme. Do a meme. Hey. Do a meme. They did have fucking South Park. And to start off with that was probably the best thing That was ever. great. That was probably the highlight of this E3 for me. Because it, it was out of nowhere. Uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, legitly, like, they came out and said, we're never making a video game ever again after South Park Sick of Truth. And then then they came on stage and they're like, yeah, we're fucking whiny, baby. So <laughs> decided to do another one. What's up? No. No? You're just checking? Okay, I was worried. Hey, your mom said that. Stop blocking your face, Henris. We love to see your beautiful face. Do we? Um, yeah, like they. Hey, Kaiser they had, says he's just going crazy in the comments. Because it's the only person in the comments. Is that you, Seven? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. South Park, the fa- uh, the fractured butthole, which is a great title. Fractured butthole. Um, butthole. They had the division, which I'm sort of concerned about now, because I, it's all about squad and playing with friends. Um, Wait, The Division or Siege? The Division. How was Siege? It was Siege. Oh, it was just like... more Siege. I'm gonna, I'm it, like... it didn't get me more excited. Like, I, I'm excited for that game, but it's not like... I'm kind of like, uh, because Battlefront now. Okay. Like, I don't want to have two... Because you only have so much money. I only One, I only have so much money, and then two... <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> and, then, and then I rub it with my nose. <laughs> and then two, um, I don't need that many shooter games. Okay. Um, yeah, Se- Siege was okay. Trackmania Turbo, which was like uh, a PC game, I think that they're they're. It looked just so fucking fun. Oh. Um, it looked dumb, but it looked fun. Dumb, sort of like Doom. On the stream, I just got out of my chair. Oh yeah. Well, it's always delayed. Yeah, I know. It's, it's never. Great. It's never. But now it's like I'm looking. Look at the past. <laughs> exactly. That's what happened, Henry. Um, Am I forever? He doesn't know what video is. <laughs> and then AC Syndicate. Whatever. It was yeah. more bullshit. I didn't really understand no what was about going Assassin's on. Creed anymore. Ghost Recon was probably the biggest thing as well, besides South really? Park. Oh yeah. No one expected that shit. Which one? Ghost Recon, Ghost what Ray they Island. ended with, yeah. Yeah, that was um, cool. I'll buy that. Yeah, maybe, probably. So Please. from Ubisoft, I go to Sony, and you're probably thinking, Bear, why isn't Sony your number one? Because, wait. Because I'm, I'm I'm also thinking of showmanship. I'm thinking of when shit got like when there's dead space, when there's shit's boring, um, and there wasn't much of that, but dead there was space. a lot of stuff that didn't. No. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of it that spoke to me during Sony's. Um, they opened with The Last Guardian, which might have been too big of an opening. I feel like they should have ended with Last Guardian yeah, and maybe it. opened with Uncharted 4. Yeah, I heard they, someone shut themselves um, watching The Last Guardian. 
and so, but they they should have switched it around, but they were like, nah. And then they did Horizon, which looked really cool. It looks like they're answered sort of to um, Tomb really Raider. Cool. Um, which was, to explain to you, Hen um, not Henry, to Ricky. No, I'm Henry now. Yeah, um, yeah. And to the audience, oh, shit. and, and to the and to the audience out Renry. there, Horizon is a game where I'm Hickey and he's Renry. Um, <laughs> oh hey, I think someone. Oh. Okay, uh, what what happened to your phone? Look at the phone. I'm gonna close this because you're gonna stare at it too much. It's true. I will. Um, Horizon. Horizon. It's it, it takes place in the future, <laughs> like all of like the society as we know it has crashed, we've all disappeared, and then it takes place, I think, like, a thousand years later or something, and people have, t like, have shown up again, and are turning sort of into, like, tribes, sort of, like, um, like, almost cavemen, but also, like, native, like, it was a mix between, like, cavemen, because you saw, like, people doing, like, their wall, drawings on the walls and shit, and but it was sort of, like, their, um, this is their answer to Because it's a woman that you're playing, and your oh. main weapon is a bow and arrow. Okay. And, um, but then there's dinosaurs, but robotic dinosaurs that are all from technology. Grimlock and, and you're usually just hunting dinosaurs and all of this shit with like this bone and arrow and it Why looks does super that sound dope. hella sick though? You need to see it. It looks, what it looks hell? beautiful too. Um, I'm just going to keep making Grimlock I'll say jokes. it again. Fuck a Tomb Raider. <laughs> um, Hitman didn't care about. It was well, like, Hitman's like. No Man's like Sky. First. I had a huge problem with No Man's Sky. We saw nothing new. We didn't really learn. No Man's Sky? Yeah. We didn't learn anything Sorry. that really. No, it's okay. Do what you need to do. I trust you. There we go. Huh? Your mom says it's too dark in here. So I'm gonna try and fix oh, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Now you can see us even more. Now you can see our ugly faces even better. I want to see it on the stream when, um, when the light just comes. There we go. Um, <laughs> Hitman didn't care about No Man's Sky. We didn't see really anything new. We just I, saw, like, hey, it's big, and we already knew that. But but no. But they like, didn't show anything new. They didn't show like, what the game was fucking about. But Sit bruh, down. Sit down. Bruh. Sit down. You fucking... I'm going to fuck up your I'm not. Later. It's not that I'm not excited about the game. It's just... What the fuck is this game? That's I like that I don't know anything about it. I think that's another whole point to the game is you don't know what's out there. You don't know what to do. Dreams, which was... Uh, I don't get it. No. We're moving on. <laughs> We're moving on, Ricky. I'm, I'm talking to you later. Yeah. <laughs> We're not done here. Um, Let Ricky talk. The chat has spoken. Let Ricky talk. <laughs> no. Because when Ricky talks... We get um, banned from Twitch. That's that's also true. Um, I'm still drawing. A dreams, on your dreams is weird. It was. So I, I don't, I, I don't know. How I felt about I that. Can't tell Firewatch it's... was really cool though. Firewatch. That was, that was like sort of eerie, but sort of funny. It looked like double, fi double find. Yeah, it looked like a sort of uh, double, double find game, but Tim it was Schaefer. someone. It was it was someone else who was making it. Uh, World of Final Fantasy looked dumb. Yeah. Final so uh, obviously, from Hitman to World Fi World of Final Fantasy, that's where. It had a big low point for me. Um, and then they came out and they're like, yo, we're doing Final Fantasy VII Remake. And then everybody lost their shit. Um, so that, that was obviously I something that... I have the bath scene in 3D. Yeah. Uh, Crossing Souls, meh. But then they came out Shenmue 3. And I, I appreciate what Shenmue 3 like, is and what that is for gamers. But it didn't... Again, it wasn't something that spoke to me. But I do like I do appreciate that it's it's something that did bring the conference up. Um. Then they went into the first couple minutes of Arkham Knight. I'm so fucking excited, and it, I think that's a PlayStation because the Scarecrow missions are PlayStation exclusive. So I feel like that's PlayStation version of how that game opens up, where you um, where you're shooting people, but you think they're zombies, but you're legit like shooting like civilians and stuff, and then someone knocks you out, and then like when you get knocked out as the police officer. Then you go into Batman setting up in this bat cave and all this stuff. Like the trigger has been shot. Yeah, it's gonna be so fucking good. Again, join us for our stream Bow this Sunday. Arrow, what is this? 2012. <laughs> um, Where's the lie? And then uh, yeah, join us on twitchtv gamers if you're watching this on YouTube this Sunday, 12 p.m. Pacific time. 
We're doing a big Batman extravaganza. He I likes really. Batman. I'm I really so, love. So and then they talked about Morpheus. Surprisingly, they only talked about it for two minutes. I was completely wrong. Like, yeah. In our, for our well, movies. I yeah no I. Yeah, I thought it was going to be at least tw- 15. 15. I completely zoned out during Morpheus, and I think I just started playing solitaire on my so phone. Watching yeah, the um, and then they talked about play- PlayStation View, which is, it- it's boring, and it totally put the conference down, but it's interesting for me because it's the sort of TV format that we want that's not available, and you get to basically pay for specific select TV channels that you want, mm-hmm. and it's now available in San Francisco. So we get to enjoy that little gem if we want. There's a seven-day free trial if we want to check it out and then give our thoughts about it, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, surprisingly, Black Ops 3. Call of Duty hasn't been at Sony for a long time. They're usually at Microsoft. And this is the first time in a very long time that Call of Duty was not at Microsoft. They're at Sony. So that was, like, a pretty big deal. Um, and then until dawn, they showed that. I have no great... idea what it is, but it, I, like, I a, saw a quick a, thing about it. It's a teen... It's a It's a horror movie. Yes. It's a teen horror movie, but you play it. It looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people are excited about it. Oh, it looks really good. Yeah. You need to look some more. And then some Destiny that. bullshit. Yeah. Um, no one cared. More Destiny Yeah, there was like really? Destiny stuff. It are was they like not some, done with that? Yeah. <laughs> it was um, like Reign of the Moon King. It was something, yeah, something about kings and stuff. And then they came out and they're like, yo, we have a Star Wars game for kids. It's Disney Infinity 3.0. And it's like, that's not an announcement. You already Just, got. You let, guys already talked about that. Let them be men and play Battlefront. Yeah, and then they <laughs> talked about Battlefront. Our boys become. Men. And then they talked about Uncharted Four, which was that uh, that demo was very embarrassing. That was hilarious, though. And then from Sony, you go to Bethesda, obviously, just just because of Fallout Four. That's all I need to say. And then who won this year for me was Xbox by a fucking landslide. I have to lean back a little so Mom can see Rick. He's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Mom. Um, Xbox, of course they're going to open up with Halo 5, obvious. But then they came out with the Inafune partnership. Inafune. The guy the guy who Inafune. did Chicago. Mega Man. He's also doing Mighty Number number 9 right now. And he's doing this new game called ReCore. That looks super fucking interesting. A lot of the stuff Xbox did this year like makes me almost want to get an Xbox One. Because... I, it's, it's making my wallet cry because all these fucking games look amazing. And then and the then big thing... Guys, that, all, Xbox One. guys, I think we all know... There's going to be one person that we all know who's going to get an Xbox One for a stupid reason, and we're just going to play his. Yeah. You know who we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I do. We're talking to you, Jack Moody, yeah. even though you don't uh, watch this show. It's a given. Um, And then they did the backwards compatibility. I personally I was like, if that's our expectations of what crazy announcements are, then we have very low expectations. But it is a right step for Microsoft to be more user-friendly. I think Sony really needs to step up their game. And, like, Microsoft legit, like, how they ended, like, that announcement for backwards compatibility was, we won't charge you for the games you already own, which was a direct shot at Sony because of the uh, whole play PS Now shit where you have to run a game for a million bucks to play for ten minutes We love you, Kaiser Soze, for watching our show. Yeah, thank you. Shout out to Kaiser Soze, who's, who's blown invested. up the chat. He, they're invested. Um, Unlike actual Kaiser. Um... <laughs> And so that was, I think it's sort of dumb, and I think it's dumb that people are hyping it up so much, but it is sort of a big step to being more user-friendly yeah. on Microsoft's side. Shout and then, out to Jack Moody. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> and then... Uh, this Kaiser fellow is great. Bethesda is came up... Is that Jack, though? No. No? Do you know who it is? Let's talk about E3, guys. But, Let's talk about Jack but, Moody. But Kaiser, though. <laughs> um, Kaiser Permanente. Bethesda came out, said Fallout 4 mods that are made on PC will also be available on Xbox One. And a lot of people are making that a big deal, but apparently that's, that'll be uh, coming to PlayStation later on. Um, and then they did their indie thing, which was very weird. Stuff switched around this year. Because I thought Sony was going to be about, we're improving our console, we're doing indies, all of this stuff. But then Sony was like, Call of Duty. And then pushing that. Uh, uh, Arkham. And then Microsoft was the one, hey, we're improving our console. Hey, we've got a bunch of indies. So it was very, it was a huge switch today, uh, this year, and that's why Xbox won. Cuphead. Uh, Cuphead. And then Cuphead, Cuphead looks amazing. Cuphead. Um, I hope, I don't, I hope that's not a console exclusive. I hope... 
that's Steam. that's available on Windows 10 as well, like on computers. Because I'm getting a I'm getting a new laptop today, uh, so hopefully, oh. yeah, that'll be. Hopefully that'll be available for that, so I don't have to buy an Xbox One. I hope it comes out for Steam in some way. Tomb Raider didn't give a shit about. Yeah. Rare Replay was a big deal, um, and then Gears of War Remaster. Play Banjo Kazooie before so, you ruined it. And then let's talk. So that those are my rankings of the E3 conferences. Um, let's talk about the best game of the show and worst game of the show. Um, we'll start with Ricky. And I, I know this is a little unfair because you didn't you didn't watch most of it. And you don't have to do five. I'm doing five I'll for do each. I'll do five. You'll do five for I'll each? I'll do five. So just talk about the games you know that were talked about at E3. What were the ones that you are most excited about? And then the, what are the ones that you are least excited about? Okay, these aren't in order. These are just from Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Battlefront. Okay. Obviously. I'm going to get some water. Can you get me some too, son? Yeah. Um, Battlefront. Oh, he said I'll some water. Um, Battlefront. 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 No. So Battlefront, uh, Fallout 4, duh. Battlefront. Um, I'm really excited for Just Cause 3. <laughs> yeah. Just to fucking play it. Like, I had no idea about the franchise or anything. You know that? Uh, uh, Just Cause 3? Yeah. Yeah. Just Cause. Just Cause. Um, so Battlefront, uh, Fallout 4, Just Cause 3. Um, that Until Dawn thing was, like, crazy to me. Okay. Um... Uh, fractured butthole. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna do one more, but I'm trying to think of what I was thinking of. Let me look at your list. I'll take like two seconds. Um, Arkham, which I'm paying for today. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there was one more. Um, oh, Last Guardian, No Man's Sky. Those are like my mm. my tops. Mm. That's it for me. Everything mm. else was kind of like whatever. Everything else you were pretty whatever about. Wait, wait, wait. Let me double check. Henry, Are you we... go. Henry, you go. Talk about talk about the five best games shown at E3, and then talk about the five worst games shown at E3. Okay, so top five best games. Okay, so I, I don't have an order for these either. Okay. But just the ones that are like, I was watching, I was just like, yes, yes, I need this. Mm-hmm. Well, Fallout 4, obviously. Obviously. Battlefront, obviously. Obviously. Uh... Um, no Man's Sky, because okay. I hadn't heard about that before. Which I'm very surprised about. It's been it's been a big deal. Yeah, I which, remembered my my main one actually. That was on top of all the ones I just said, which was Doom. Mm. That's what I'm most excited for. Okay, Unraveled. Unraveled, yeah. Because I want to support the endearing Swedish man. Okay, we love endearing Swedish men. <laughs> endearing. <laughs> Hi, and Cuphead. Okay. Those are my top five. See, okay, and then what were the worst presentations? Like, what were the worst games? Boring. Metroid terrible. Prime Football. Okay. Which I'm not going to stop calling Metroid Prime Football. Okay. So there's that. Okay. There's, uh... God, are these all going to be Nintendo games? Star Fox Zero for just being so little, so late. Yeah. Because when was the last time we had a console Star Fox game? Star Fox Adventures? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played one, actually, since the N64, so... Because that was the last good one. Exactly. Guys, Sonic Racers, though. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the best game? The best game No, of the time. best game of the show this year was obviously Minions. Yeah, that's the best. Why didn't I say that? <laughs> oh, and this Horizon thing has me fucked up, too. Yeah, no, Horizon um, looks awesome. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's two. Let's see what else was announced that... I couldn't get give less of a shit about all the sports games, really. Yeah. Gears of War. Gears of War was a pretty big deal. It was deal. just a demo. It would yeah. have been big to me, but I just don't care anymore. Yeah. Um, so, like, I'm going to put all the sports games because I just don't care about most sports games. Okay. And they didn't really show us anything new. They just brought Pele. I was like, Pele, what do you think about video games? And he was like, I'm old. Let me go home. I'm very <laughs> tired. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, same thing like, happened with uh, Henry uh, for the third. They brought him out for like ten seconds to announce Forza Six <laughs> for Microsoft. He's like, he was. I'm like part fractured. of a company. He was like fractured but whole though. <laughs> <laughs> and then he literally left, and then probably just went back to wherever he fucking lives. Uh, um, pro probably Uncharted Four because I don't give a shit about the Uncharted okay. games, and it's like. 
I want Naughty Dog to make Crash. No wait, that's Insomniac. I want Naughty Dog to make Crash Bandicoot again. Why? I don't I know. Miss Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna give anything else about that. Just, okay. I don't know. Because Crash Bandicoot was my childhood, man. Crash Team Racing is great. You see pictures. You of, need to get the fuck you, out of you here. See, you see like kid pictures of Henry. It's just Crash. <laughs> <laughs> I was Crash. Um, and wait, I still have a fifth one that yeah. I'm not sure what it is yet. Okay. So I'm just gonna say minions. Okay. All right. So my my best game of the shows. Um, I'm I'm gonna number these. I'm gonna rank these. Nerd. So at number because I like my lists. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're all nerds, especially you who spent the whole day with me watching E3. So. We're all in this together. I'm gonna start commenting. I'm a man. I'm I work. In this together. I work too, man. I'm kidding. I work two jobs, and I do this shit, and I'm in school right now. He's so get defensive. on my fucking <laughs> level. Get on my level. Go with your okay. list. I started commenting in it. Okay. Because I'm a bastard. Um, number five was Batman: Arkham Knight, Can't and it, it, it's it's obviously on my list, but it's lower on my list because because I'm already sold out. We're about to get it. Yeah, I'm already <laughs> sold out. It comes count. out in like five days. Yeah. yeah. I'm so not ready. I'm so ready. Be the bat. We can do this. I'm, and I just want to say, spoilers for Batman Arkham Knight. So we'll do... I'll do this dance move once we're done with spoilers. Um, so for now, cover your ears. Muff em. When Gordon came out and said at the very beginning, this is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. Like, that's it. Like, this is... You I have. forgot. Like, they came out and said... Fuck you to two sorts of people. When they cremated Joker, they're saying fuck you to the people who were like, Joker's still alive. And then they came out and said fuck you to the people who were like, you guys are going to do more Batman games, obviously. Yeah. It's like, nope. This is it. Fuck y'all. This is a trilogy. This is Dark it. Origins didn't happen. Okay, yeah. we're done. Um, okay, by the so way, I, wait, no, I, I forgot that uh, Mike... Was Zowski. was uh, doing Gordon now? Oh yeah, yeah. I have, Mike Ehrman. I like hella forgot. So like Ooh. the moment I watched it again, it was like even more like. I oh, love that fuck. he's voicing Gordon, but it, it it's kind of the weird, continuity like for Gordon's voice has been all over the place. Whoever did it in Origins was good. He was a good young Gordon, hmm. but then so Asylum he had a he had a solid voice, but he looks old as fuck. But like probably like. Mm, 50s, early late 50s, 50s yeah. early 60s and then right Arca, the Arkham City like in Asylum he had like sort of like a, a man voice and then in City you see him at the end out of nowhere and he's like Batman what happened yeah ba Batman what happened in there <laughs> and he looks totally different he totally, looks totally weird but then finally Gordon looks normal he looks like Gordon Gary Busey is Gordon and I think, he has a solid voice actor now I think that was like the only like solid thing about Origins really was um the voice acting and was, the story Yeah it was the voice acting and the Everything story Everything else was dumb I mean if it And that's why we're not doing a speed run of that because who that gameplay is pretty bad Cuz if they got like Mike to do it from like the beginning even though that would have never happened. That would yeah. have been perfect because the guy who did Gordon was so solid yeah. in uh, Origins. But Batman. Yeah. But Batman. Yeah. <laughs> um, Batman. Okay, so Batman Arkham Knight, number five. Oh, we got a comment. Gary Busey is Gordon. Okay. Um, number four, Cuphead. Looks amazing. Still don't know. Okay, so... I'm going to show you a trailer. Right? Yeah, we need to show you a trailer. Um, and to also explain to our audience, Cuphead is basically... Um, yeah, you have to put it on silent yeah, though, yeah, so they yeah. don't hear it. Yeah. Um, so they, it, it's like a, a throwback to like twenties, thirties cartoon. Yeah, like cartoon, like sort of like Steamboat Willie type of stuff, but like an actual video game. And think of like how like Gary South Park Busey is Cuphead. <laughs> South Park is um, like that. Those games looks like they were part of the TV show. Yeah, Cuphead looks like it's an actual. TV show, Whoa. right? Whoa! Hold right? The fuck on though. I wish I could. I didn't bring my second screen, so I can't share anything with you guys right now, um, which is unfortunate. Look I'm up stupid. the trailer. Like, look up Cuphead right the game now. Don't even watch us. Watch it. Watch dope. Cuphead. I hope it's available on Windows uh, laptop stuff. Super quiet. It can pick up. Sorry, it but I've been, stuff. I've been excited for this game like since it was announced. So. And then number three, Battlefront. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Cuphead, right? 
Whoa. You're sold. You're sold. Whoa, Xbox Now, though. Like, yeah. That's so good. Yeah, it's like, like I'm trying to figure out exactly which company it looks like. Because it's not exactly so Disney. It's not exactly War- Warner Brothers. I want to say it's like the people who did... It looks like those old, uh, those old uh, uh, Betty Boop cartoons. Yeah. The ones that were set to, like, Cab Calloway. It's mm. like every uh, cartoon clip from Pee Wee's Playhouse is what it is. Okay. It's coming yeah. out in 2016, though. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Um, Battle- like I said, uh, coming 1936 plus 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> um, Battlefront obviously has won me over. Because, yeah, they they talked about, like, mainly, like, online multiplayer, but they said even though there's no story mode, you can still do singer, single player, you can do local... Singer mode? You can do local co-op and all that good stuff, and that's the stuff I want. Like, because that's what Battlefront was for me yeah, when I was, I was a kid. Count. It was, like, one of the last games where you could have, like, these big fights without having to play with your friends. Or yeah. play with random people. Because you had it on people. PS2? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it was, like, Xbox, you could play it online, PS2. Two, it was like PS2 didn't have online. It, it was, did. You had to like connect shit, yeah, yeah, to, and like, it was like because so you yeah. could you could do uh, Tony Hawk's Underground Two yeah. online technically, yeah. <laughs> but it was terrible but no one online. did it. Um, so yeah, that's what a day and age when playing online was terrible. I remember like having wrestling games, like and not even like when they came out. It was like a couple years after and playing them, and no one was online at all. Number two. Fallout 4. Yeah. Obviously. Um, I am not a huge person into Fallout. I only played Fallout 3 maybe for like an hour, two hours. Um, but I do have Jack's laptop now, so maybe I'll try to go back into that before uh-huh. I have to give it before I have to give it back to him. Do you have an um, Xbox? Because I have it on Xbox if you want. You have it on 360? Oh, yeah. I'll yeah, I'll, I'll lend it to you soon. That's how, we, that's how we're streaming our Asylum and City, because I have the 360. Dope. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's play Fallout 3. Yeah, we might do that. That would be cool. Of the whole That's game. Take no, forever, not the whole game. Just like the, okay. like a couple hours. Okay. Do you think we play the whole game of Guacamelee for Let's Plays? No, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Ricky. I think eventually we should expand to that because it could be fun, like doing um, like episodic part videos. Yeah. Um, but going back, Battlefront swung me over. Looks beautiful. Game modes are awesome. They look great. Number one, Sonic Boom. Oh yeah, Fallout Four. Sorry. I forgot I was okay. at Fallout 4. And then like the whole like building like your city yeah. and stuff was really cool. Building your characters and, like, in fi- the mirror. Building your gun. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, like, but also like them. building your like your town and like figuring out like okay where are weak spots, where where are spots that I can defend in case raiders come and all of this shit. Like that is so cool. Um, it's huge. and I love that you have the option of do you, do you have the guy. dog. Or do you not have the dog? Right. I'm not bringing that dog around with me because Sorry. you don't want it to die. Uh, the dog can't die. They've come out and said that. <laughs> which will probably, which probably means if you stick with it, it gets killed at the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna bring the dog. Uh, because... The story looks very interesting this time around. Like, yeah, like I understand the gist of all, all the other Fallout games. It's like, oh, these people are part of societies after this uh, World War Three. Fallout Three, find the dad. Fallout Four, be the dad. Yeah, <laughs> and then Fallout Four, dad simulator. And but Fallout Four is really interesting. Even the Shimoda who knows nothing about fall games um she was like this story is really cool because it's about like a guy who lived the day of world war three and then he gets sent like he gets like cryo like freeze or whatever and is sent 200 years into the future yeah. so i i think that's fascinating so um and then my number one my main gal this year for e3 was south park the fractured butthole. That's your number one. Oh yeah. I mean, like, I think it's amazing. I just did. Oh yeah, because it, it was so one. unexpected. No one fucking like. No one saw it. Definitely. Even yeah. when even when the trailer started and like you got the voiceover, I was like, "What fantasy game is this?" And then it was like literally it went into the toilet, and then I was like, "Oh shit, yes." Um, that yeah, was my no Shenmue idea. moment comparing it to Henry. Like right. I was just like, "This is awesome." Because I think if anything, at first I thought they were announcing, "Oh." South Park, the stick of truth is just coming to uh, current gens. Yeah. But then they were just like, new game, it's superheroes, it's gonna be awesome. That's why the new se- last season sucked. We're gonna, yeah, that's why, it's probably why the last season of South Park sucked, right. because they were focusing on writing this game. Um, so I'm, that's my game of the show, is South Park's um, The Fractured Butthole. Now, my worst games of the show are not, some of them. 
looked dumb as fuck. Some of them looked terrible. Some of them just had really bad demos. So we're going to start. Number five, Metroid Prime. Metroid Football. Prime, fuck you. Um, because it's just like, it was just like a big thing, middle finger to the Metroid fans. It was just like, because... hey, you want this really cool Metroid game where it like calls back to all the originals? No, you have to... Well, the thing is that like Metroid... Metroid is like one of Nintendo's. So bad about Ricky's it. so mad. So bad Metroid's it. one of the biggest franchises in America. But it's not. Nintendo. It's not really. It's not a seller. It's surprisingly. Not. No. It is to me. It is to me. But it's a lot less pop- popular in Japan. Mm, yeah. So but, I think. They were, Nintendo was being smart. They were focusing a lot on handhelds, but they do need to call to their audience. And a lot of their Japan audience. Likes the handheld shit, so and that's why they're probably doing mobile games. Um, it is. I was very surprised they did not talk about mobile games whatsoever. Like they just supported just like it. I was very surprised. I thought they were gonna. I thought they were gonna announce one and that it was gonna be up in like a week. But you yeah. know that I I don't know shit and that's let's why I'm it. not in the video game industry. Let's face it, we all kind of want like a hand a mobile Mario game. Like even if we don't want it, we do kind of want it. Mm. I don't know. I'd have to see it first. I if it's gonna be like a super mobile game, like you have to wait two hours to jump or buy a crystal. Exactly. Do it like, now. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think Nintendo would do that. Like just to okay. Have... So going for Metroid Prime, we're going to Sea of Thieves. Um, oh man, I have to decline you right now. Sorry. Hello and um, welcome to CG. <laughs> uh, sea of Thieves. Uh, being made by Rare, looks really cool at first. And you're like, oh shit, they're in the jungle. It's Banjo Kazooie, and then it turned into sort of this first person. You saw like hands of a person. It looked really beautiful, and then it turned into a pirate MMO. And then you're just like, nope, I'm out. And it just proved like Rare's done. Rare is fucking gone. I mean, Rare they have Im- needs to stop. I mean, they have improved from uh, being the uh, guys who did uh, the, who make shirts for your avatar. Yeah, that. <laughs> at least they're making a game, but it looks so dumb. Um, just dance, just dance, Ubisoft. We don't give a fuck. What audience are you trying to get to when you're girls. showing Jason Derulo sing a song for Just Dance? Who are you trying to get to at E3? I can understand if you do like a big marketing ploy for the general public. Yeah, but like at E3, it's like. Oh my god. Um, oh. It's funny because for me, Just Dance was like, we're going to have weekly DLC, and I was just like, you mean Rock Band? And these n- next two games aren't because they're, they're going to be bad games. It's because the demos themselves were really fucking either boring or just terrible. Number two is Uncharted Four, which was the, hilarious, the, which was embarrassing, and people were like. Oh, it's okay. It's Sony. It's Uncharted. But no, if that shit happened, someone said this. I forget who said this. But if that shit happened for Lara Croft, for the Tomb Raider over at Microsoft, it would have been destroyed to fucking pieces. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, you Devil's know, staying advocate. fair. I'm gonna be staying fair and saying no. That shit's not acceptable. It's not. Come Still, there will never. And be. then the fucking the demo itself was just like, we would have a car. Apparently, apparently the demo they showed on the floor, secret, like behind closed doors, was actually really cool. Mm. Why didn't we get to see that? Because it's behind yeah, closed doors. doors. Um, and then number one was Gears Four. Gears Best. Four. And not because it looks interesting. It looks. Life is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it looks more interesting than the other Gears games, but most of it was black. Most of it, like at He's first, a racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, mo- like it. for the first part, you have like a, a flashlight, and you're apparently looking for this like monster dude or whatever, and then you get sprayed with this stuff, and then your flashlight doesn't work, and you literally can't see anything for like two thirds of the demo. Well, what happens when you're in the dark and your flashlight goes out? You can't see shit. So it's, I mean, <laughs> but like, that's a terrible <laughs> thing know, to show for a demo. I that's know. like I can understand playing it, and you're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> But to convince people to come and buy your product, you don't show a black screen. That's true. It's, it's not like, what you do. It's like if you demoed, uh, if it's like if they had the demo for Assassin's Creed Three, and it was nothing but you as the dad, <laughs> just little... walking around. I'm the dad. I'm drinking. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Dad Simulator. What dad? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so that's talking shit over. <laughs> that's our E three reaction. Um, uh, do you guys have any closing thoughts for it? Doom. Doom. Nintendo, Doom. please, please be better. Nintendo, to stop making consoles, focus on your games because then they'll be ten times better. Bring all your games. Support. Give more games to, to Wii U. Maybe s- people will actually buy no, we, it. No, we use dead. If, if Mario Kart didn't sell consoles, if uh, Smash. Smash didn't sell consoles, there's nothing. Nothing that can save that console. That's true. It's done. Maybe the no. next Zelda game is going to be a... NX. It, no, it's going to be a... Um, what's the situ- uh, Twilight Princess situation. Where it came out on GameCube, got a little love on GameCube, and then the main thing was Wii. Even though it was better on GameCube. Even though it was way better on GameCube. But we don't know what NX is. You control your controller is your body. <laughs> your, con- dad. <laughs> <laughs> your controller is your dick. Um, Get that the hell away from me. You're grounded. <laughs> your controller. So that's our E3 reaction. <laughs> you play with. Um, I thought it was a pretty decent year. Yeah. A lot of people are hyping this year up as the best E3 I'm gonna, year. I'm gonna be broke, so I mean. Yeah, I, I, I there was a lot of cool games. Yeah. Um. Shenmue obviously was a, a big a big thing. Shamu. Fallout Four, um, <laughs> Shamu Three, <laughs> um, Escape from Sea World. <laughs> so yeah, I think it was a decent year. I don't think it was as good as a year as everybody else is making it out to be. So you, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already know about our talking shit stuff. You already know about all of our quick review stuff. But if you're watching this on Twitch Live right now, let me tell you, we have a little YouTube channel down below. There's a picture of me eating a piece of pizza. What you want to do is click on that picture, and it sends you to our YouTube page, where we have three different shows. We have our Talking Shit, which is a topical-based show. Um, we a have, tropical-based show. We have Quick Reviews, which is self-explanatory. We, we just do, do quick re- reviews, of like reviews quickly. Up to nine things. And then we have our Let's Play Some Shit, uh, where we just do a bunch of different Let's Plays of shit we want to do. Um, What's the fourth one? No, there's only three. You said four. No, I said three. He said four, dude. We're going to watch this back again, and I'm going to say fucking three, and then... I'm not even in this. <laughs> I'm just staying out of this. You want to so, fight Captain Crunch? And so our quick reviews come out every Monday. Our talking shit, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Our um, let's play some shit every Friday. If you're watching this on YouTube, just like let, just letting you know, we're recording this live on twitch.tv slash Bayes on Gamers. Go check that out. We're up for BCG News Join every, every Wednesday at 12.15 p.m. Pacific Time. Um, and usually we have like setups of like sharing screen, like articles and all this stuff, but E3, obviously we didn't need to share really anything, a couple of things maybe, but, um, I feel like we just needed to, to sit down and talk amongst these, uh, ourselves and not worry about all the equipment today. Um, so thank you for joining us again. My name is Barrett Courtney. And again, these are my great co-hosts and even better friends, Henry Montiero and Ricky Baldesson. And until next time. Have a great day and stay groovy. That's all I got to say. Stay groovy. Stay groovy. Where'd my body pillow go? I don't know. Go get it. Go now. Go get it. Let's go. Hurry. Do it. Hurry. No, we're kidding. We're not going to show the body pillow.